Hi. You're looking at the Primna microfile in a plastic basin. Okay, I, I call this material a crazy material. See, you have you have no apex. Maybe I can make this brush an apex, and this could be the first branch. And but this one is leaning toward there, so this this branch, the front will have to be here. So this branch has no use. See, this should be empty. So this has a lot of problem. It has a twin trunk, but the branch here, the first branch and the and supposedly the apex here is level, so it becomes a bar branch. And another thing is this lacks taper and it's very short. Okay, so but but then we should not be throwing away these uh, materials, ugly materials. You have to do your best. And uh, unless if you are a very busy person and you, you have an eight-hour job, it's it's not worth it so much. It's just as well. Uh, give this uh, make this a giveaway so but for me I, I will still work on this so my plan is we have to remove this one so that you have only one tree and that, that will increase your taper here so and at least it will somehow compensate then the root works the, the nibari is sort of too wide but and the disadvantage of this is when you put this in a small pot actually you cannot just you cannot put this in a, it's a small pot unless you cut some of the roots here and make new roots so uh, that the root work will have to be done later but for now i will be doing some clearing works removing this one and wiring this up and this will be the first best and this will be the new apex so so that we, we can have a sense of direction where this uh, where this material will be going okay so the first thing to do is to do this okay i will totally remove this actually so no need to make jean this can be planted still as a cutting so we are now a little bit clearer on where this one is going and I will uh, trim off some some branches okay so so since this is my front this will have to go okay and this is a this will be the first branch and it's a mature branch and so I can just use this by trimming this off so there's no need to grow sacrificial branches here because this has a structure already and the thing to be done is just to trim this off okay i'll continue okay later. so i have i have cleaned uh, some of the unnecessary branches now especially this one because this is the front so okay i'll give you some turns so that you will okay you may or may not agree that that should be the front that's why i removed the no back branch for now nothing's growing okay so the trunk is towards leaning towards there so generally the movement of the plant is towards there and also towards there so the next is to create an apex or create a new leader so it's it would be wiring works and this new leader will be made a sacrifice branch so as much as possible no cutting that's why there are adventitious growth there I, I did not cut because that will help thicken the trunk okay that will help thicken this new leader okay so this will be the new leader but unfortunately the tip is broken so anyway there's still many uh, new shoots that are growing on it and these new shoots will give uh, will send uh, uh, 
uh, growth hormone to the roots and signaling it to really support this uh, tip okay this new leader and eventually the new leader will not be able to hold itself so I will have to stick it with some bamboo stick or or any type of wood so this will be the trunk and the new leader the first branch this will be another branch so for now let's try to make some movement of the new leader so we should not be uh, carving this too crazy because it will not fit in the okay so this is the anyway it should be like that not so crazy it should somehow reflect this movement then like okay somehow like that okay so this other branch of course will be going towards there and this will be the opposite branch so I will remove this and carve this out now, how to improve this taper I do not know yet for now but I have a, a, a very ambitious thing in my mind so whether I will be able to do it or not I will cut this down up here and remove the that wooden portion and maybe press this with the jack and then tie it with so that it will be anyway that's just in my mind yet I, I still have to look for a AC club to do that So this is how it looks. Very fragile now. Okay. So I'll be doing an experiment, a future experiment with which is to somehow clamp this with a jack so that they will go nearer each other and then you have a taper. Okay, so let's just say the plan is to bring this a little bit closer and we have a taper. Okay. Hello. Oh. So, I bought myself a C-clamp. See? It says here, City Hardware, 155 pesos per piece. 155 pesos so one dollar is about 40 to 42 pesos so this is just about four dollars well so this for me this is now dispensable so and I have also bought some tie cable okay, this one so the way that I'm the way to do this is I'm going to to install this 
Okay, you can put a equation, but this one I I am going to compress. So you will have to compress this gradually. Okay, so let me tighten first. Okay, so okay, then the way to do this is you tighten this from time to time. Okay. So that means from time to time means it may take you weeks to, to maybe more than a month. So it's a little bit tight now. And so, can you recognize that there's already moved a closure? So, for example, this. Okay, I'll hold it that tight first, then. Maybe every two hours or every four hours. Now, this cable tie is it's like that. Okay. As you insert it, it tightens. Okay. And there. So it holds it there. Then so then you still tighten. That would release. If you were to release this then you have to cut. So example like that I, I would I will place uh, three cab cable ties. The C clamp will have to be to, to be there that's why I, I, I said earlier that this is in, in this this is dispensable so you may be able to re use this still in the future but the C clamp as it will be exposed it will be full of rust So maybe one more. Okay. And hopefully you can train your this trunk to to be nearer each other in, in a month or so. So of course you can use thicker cables. So these cables will still hold even if the clamp is removed from this place. So okay, it's tight now. So basically that's that would be the okay. So okay. that's how to make a trunk tape that's how to improve a trunk taper without trunk chops <laughs> or without further trunk chops so and not necessarily even uh, requiring a, a sacrificial branch but you can always still combine those other techniques but this is the we may call a clamp technique I learned this uh, in the internet and I also seen uh, Nelly Stoyanova post uh, something like this so hope you enjoyed and learned something